Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be on uh, North Raleigh Beach by Karabi. I'll show you around. Thank you ladies. Um, this is a trip that we stayed at a place called Villa Chacha on North Raleigh Beach. Uh, and I'll be showing you uh, the, the entire area. Plus, we're going to be going up to Ao Nang and have a wonderful cup of coffee. So uh, stick around and check it out. Here we go. Well, I just thought I'd get this, uh, this shot before it decides to rain, which this time of the year, it can rain any time. But here's the beach that we're at. It's in Karabi. And I'll show you a lot more of this place because it's very nice. A little on the rustic side, but you know, I really don't care. It's very peaceful. It's low season. There's not many people here at all. Which is also nice. Which brings up something about coming here in the low season. Oh, it's rainy season. Well, if you can handle a little bit of rain, it's worth it. Here's a quick look at our room. We've already been here a couple days. Well, we decided to take the freebie into town. Do some shopping and checking out. And it would be the town of Oh no. We've been there like three years ago. We stayed a couple of nights, four or five nights, I don't remember. But that's where we're going. Woohoo! Okay, now we got to Ao Nang, Ao Nang, and we've been here before. I've been here, and um, well, we've been here before, and um, just found out this was the beach I was supposed to get hotel reservations from, right over there, where it says the beach bar. Oh no, 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 no! It was next to the beach bar. We stayed there last time. I thought something different. We have infinity pools going right to the beach at the other place. Okay, I was uh, told that uh, while I'm stopping here in uh, Long now that there was a really great place to get some iced coffee and it took us a long time to find this place. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but uh, let, me, let me show you this freaking coffee. It's awesome. That is a really nice cup of coffee, and I'm not sure the name of this place, but uh, I don't know. Maybe on the way out, I'll, I'll ask that guy that's standing out here. Maybe, maybe he'll know. Hey, man. Hey, what was the name of this place? It had it had really good coffee. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, this here's the boardwalk of uh, the most well. It's the most popular beach in Krabi. It's uh, Aonong that before but yeah very beautiful uh, there's like of course here, let me show you a whole bunch of places to shop and eat and lodge and even bump into trees in the middle of the sidewalk Holy. Oh, I just I was just joking but it's nice and shady this is like shady almost like all day long so it's a very nice walk along the beach and I'll show you down on the beach there it might be a little bit whited out in contrast you know a thought just crossed my mind all right it's not a 100% but this town this boardwalk along the beach well the entire town I guess I've been here before it reminds me of Patia people are gonna say how does this remind you of Patia? Well, it does because it reminds me the first time I was in Patia back in 1976. And it wasn't even quite even this uh, built up, but it was like small shops and restaurants and bars right across the street from the road. Not too much, just, it wasn't even this busy. Yeah, this is beautiful. 
I don't like making comparisons, but I, I will. Um, I just think this place is much more beautiful than, than many of the other beaches I've been to around the world, including other ones here in Thailand. It just has more things to see. You look out in the ocean and there's nice, cool... Oh, like here, let me get over there. Like these guys right here. Those are pretty neat. And so, so is that. There's a lot of statues here in this place. Some of them are nice and some of them are like, say what? Not too many guests here this, uh, it's low season, which is fine, but just wanted to walk around a little bit and show you the place. Uh, and they have a great, great restaurant. And the restaurant has the largest menu I've ever seen. Talk about analysis paralysis ordering. Oh my gosh. Now this furniture is just cool. That's made out of some freaking driftwood. Can you imagine if you just, uh, you know, uh, sh shine them up, uh, sand them down, put some varnish on them. And you, you could sell that for a couple of grand. But they're beautiful. My gosh. Nice. So it's not, you know, it's a little bit lived in. But it's got all the amenities that you would think that you'd need. Bathroom, just a standard bathroom. Closet with some stuff in it. But got a little vanity here. And I guess that's like a king or something. Big enough for me. And it's nice to have a sofa place to put your uh, computer and get some work done we got a okay balcony oh, there's a shot of the uh, little island when it's this tides all the way up and it doesn't have much of a beach but hey it's it's still nice um, very quiet not many people here uh, and hopefully on the high season they'll start getting a lot more people coming but this place could be really really awesome place to to hang out, meet people, do a little bit of partying, and just in, enjoying yourself. And um, let, me, let me show you around. Kayaks for rent. 200 baht per hour. That ain't too bad. Straight out there. I don't know if you can even see it. I'll try to zoom in on it. Oh, I can't even get my finger in it. Somewhere's around there. That's uh, cool pee pee. Way out there, about 20, 25 minute ride out there in the, the ferry and stuff. Been out there about three years ago. That is nice. Cool places to hang out there. And then we get up to the pools and then after the pools is the ocean. Let's check it out. I think we've got three pools here. Plus a kiddies pool. Weenie Hut Junior Pool. That's what it's. If you know, you guys know, okay? Some of you know about Weenie Hut Junior. Yeah, there's another pool there. And then another one way over there. A little bit smaller than the rest. A little on the rustic side, but you know, I really don't care. It is very peaceful. It's low season. There's not many people here at all. Which is also nice. Which brings up something about coming here in the low season. Oh, it's rainy season. Well, if you can handle a little bit of rain, it's worth it. <laughs> okay, look at that guy. He looks like he's, uh, oh my gosh. Now these uh, statues, I really wish they would uh, hit a pressure washer on them, but uh, that's just me. And there's some more statues. <laughs> okay, well, what's going on here? This guy here. I think this is just a clear-cut case of, are you ready for it? Monkey playing football. <laughs> okay, the word's not playing, but hey, I gotta get another photo of this. 
that island is totally underwater but uh, this uh, this early evening it should be be able to walk out to it and I was gonna go over there today but we ended up going out to the town and we got the two ladies saying hey this way to the pool straight ahead of me is the restaurant it has a huge menu and they also do breakfast there in the morning it's pretty good a little on the spendy side but they're always that way at the ho these hotels but not too bad look at this guy playing football yeah Well, it looks like the band's here, all set up, ready to go. Cool, can't wait. Wonder what their name is. Well, you can even hang up there in the bean bag. Uh, that's the bean bag loft up there. Have some beers and watch the sun go down. The sun will go down right over those mountains there. Well, it was a great trip, and now we're heading back to the airport and hopefully Bangkok is not too flooded.